Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting screencast of Total OS today and I say exciting because what I have here is the brand new Linux Mint 11 Kitty Katya actually just Katya Linux Mint 11 Katya release candidate not the final not yet that should be I suspect the end of the month but maybe even sooner we will be installing this inside a virtual machine with Windows 7 as the host. So let's get started with the install. And let's see if Linux Mint retains its usual level of excellence. All right, these are the normal installation instructions. I will click forward, erase and install, erase disk and install Linux Mint. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, the time looks good. USA keyboard is fine. All right. Who are you? I am a human. All right. Your name, Toss Today. Your computer name, Toss Today is fine. Pick a username, toss today, password, we'll just go with three digits to keep it simple. And you notice it says short password. Yes, it is. Confirm it. And I shall click login automatically. Forward. Okay, welcome to Linux Mint. This is the slideshow feature of the installation in case you haven't used this or installed this before. And there is a progress bar here at the bottom. So while it's doing this, let's look at the website. Okay, what's new basically in Linux Mint 11? At a glance, multimedia codecs, extra applications, the software manager, the update manager, desktop settings tool, artwork improvements, system improvements, and software selection. And it says for a complete overview, you can just click this link. Known problems, genome theme failing to load, can't edit mount point during installation, moonlight, apparently there's something wrong with the moon, <laughs> there's something wrong with about me, no there's not at least not me, adding PPA repositories, wrong medium name in ISO Linux, upstream issues, apparently the river hasn't crested yet. Just trying to be funny guys. System requirements, you need at least a, a x86 processor or 64-bit. 32-bit works both on 32-bit and 64-bit. By the way, for this, I downloaded a DVD 32-bit edition. You need at least 512 of RAM. I recommend 1 gig, at least 5 gigabytes of space, graphics card, and a CD, DVD drive, or a USB port. These are the checksum values down here. By the way, if you are new to this and don't have any clue how to install this, please go to the Total OS Today website. Click the Linux Mint here icon here or the shortcut here and this will take you to part one of three of the Linux Mint install tutorial basically for newbies all right and the very lovely slideshow continues listen to music and CDs Banshee is now default media player I say media because it does both audio and video Okay, now I left this, I'm going to leave this installed to the, uh, to the internet access. As you can see here, it's downloading language packs. Normally it is not necessary if you don't want you to install language packs. However, I will let it install it and I will click pause. And when it's done uh, downloading the language packs, I will be back. Okay, the install is progressing nicely. As you can see here, the progress bar at the bottom, it is almost done. Again, the slideshow, the installation slideshow to keep you busy and entertained. 
as you watch the most exciting installation you have ever seen. Featured software, FileZilla, which is the son of Godzilla, Skype, Audacity, Picasa, and Google Earth. Hey, installation is complete. Now that was fast. Well, what shall we do? Okay, you twisted my arm. Restart now. Okay. By the way, that looks like pretty cool default wallpaper. Once again, if you are a Windows user or if you are new to this and want a safe way to install this alongside your Windows operating system, please check out my complete Linux Mint install tutorial either at the website as you see here or at my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's press enter to complete this. Restarting. Okay, booting up. Now keep in mind when you are, if you ever use a virtual machine, it will be slightly slower, if not a lot slower, than a complete installation or a normal install. Okay, well, welcome to um, welcome to Linux Mint release candidate 11 Katya Genome or Gnome 32 bit. All right, this looks about the same as Linux Mint 10. Click close nice default wallpaper here very nice okay the computer icon my home folder looks the same and the bottom we have the menu and of course the time and date to the right this looks to be about the same if we right click all right the usual menu sub menu let's click change desktop background let's see if anything sticks out here as far as the background uh, looks about the same again for, uh, except for the default wallpaper which looks good I will leave it as it is let's click the menu okay of course the mint menu nothing appears unusual here except excuse me except the fact that Banshee is now installed by default and not rhythm box let's click uh, let's try all applications Go to all. Okay, about me, additional drivers, appearance, app ton, CD, installation disk, assistive technologies, backup, Banshee, Bluetooth, Brazero, calculator, character map, compass, compass, settings manager, desktop, dictionary. I won't read everything. Let me go down and see if I spot anything that's new. Uh, one moment. G thumb. View and organize your images. Hmm. Okay. That looks simple enough. Of course, I haven't loaded any images here yet, but it seems simple enough. Let's go back down here. Go to all applications again. We left off at G thumb. Let's keep on going down here. LibreOffice is now is now has now replaced open office as the default desktop writer and I've been using this in my laptop and this actually works pretty good and I believe this to be faster than open office so that is new okay let's continue we left off at Libra office let's keep on going here let's see anything new here that was not in Linux Mint 10 okay it looks like this looks the same I like the fact that VLC is installed by default this is one of the best media players for both Windows and Linux it plays just about everything you can throw at it okay let's see let's try the software manager well, this looks different. It has some new colorful icons. Hey, that's nice, big and bright. That looks outstanding. Let's click sound and video 96 packages. This looks about the same. Very nice. 
This looks cool, very pleasing on the eyes. All right, let's go back to the menu. And let's see, the package manager, okay. This should work by typing in my code. Okay, the synaptic package manager. Just gonna close. This appears to be the same. Nothing, nothing looks different here or unusual. Let's look at the terminal. Okay. The usual quips and sayings here at the terminal. Let's see what this says. Why don't Scotsmen ever have coffee the way they like it? Answer, well, they like it with two lumps of sugar. If they drink it at home, they only take one. And if they drink it while visiting, they always take three. Sure, whatever you say. Don't get that. Maybe I will later. <laughs> Let's go to sound and video. <clears throat> okay. We did check out VLC, sound recorder, movie player, Gino, Brazero, Banshee, accessories, looks good here, administration, let's look at the uh, Compass Fusion. Settings Manager, okay. This looks very easy to use as always. Let's get out of this. Let's try another theme and see what we have. Theme. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything out of the ordinary here? Nothing really out of the ordinary. Let's try Felicia. Stick with Felicia. Okay. Let's try that. All right, of course, that changes here, the background color. Let's go to Internet, Firefox installed by default. I use both Firefox and Chrome. And there, of course, is the LinuxSmith.com website, LinuxSmith 11 Katya RC released. Okay. This looks polished and excellent as always. I will not go into every piece of software installed. Uh, don't think I've ever done that. Maybe one day I will. Maybe I'll split it up into parts and look at everything and just give you my opinions of each piece of software. Although that would probably take a while. That being said, as a Windows user, obviously uh, Linux Mint 11 chose not to use the GNOME 3 default desktop or Unity. I suspect they may try the Genome 3 default desktop maybe in the next edition. There's been a love-hate relationship, relationship between Unity and or choosing Genome 3. Between the two, as a Linux user, I think I would prefer, prefer Genome 3 or GNOME 3. I just think it looks nicer. nicer. As far as Linux Mint 11, another stellar release. I realize this is just a release candidate not the final it appears to be stable at least in a virtual machine no problems whatsoever and I do uh, intend to install this in one of my machines in addition to Zorn OS 5 which should be be released here shortly I believe at the end of this month all right guys well that's it thank you for watching this edition of total OS today on Linux Mint 11 Katya release candidate Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and share with your friends. And as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Bye.